Hello friends. Today topic of discussion is to calculate horizontal angle and vertical angle by using different methods. To calculate horizontal angle, there are two different methods. Starting with the first method, the method of repetition. As the name indicates, we have to use a repetition method to calculate a same angle. For example, we have to calculate angle A O B, the horizontal angle A O B, and by using a repetition method. Now, what is the repetition method? We'll see. In this method, the angle is added a number of times. Same angle, angle A O B is added number of times. The total is divided by the number of reading to get the angle. For example, if we have added it by 3 times, then total angle divided by 3. The angle should be measured clockwise in the face left and face right position. So we have to calculate angle in clockwise direction in face left as well as face right with 3 repetitions at each face. So we have to use 3 repetitions. The final reading of the first observation will be the initial reading of the second observation and so on. Over here, I will explain you how to do it. See, suppose you have to calculate angle A, O, B. First and the most important is set up your instrument at station O. After setting out your instrument, you have to do all the temporary adjustment, setting up, centering, leveling, focusing. After this, we have to set the vernier at 0 and 180. So set one near A at 0 and one near B at 180. After this, now the upper clamp screw is fixed because we have to fix this readings. Upper clamp screw is fixed and lower clamp screw is loose. By turning the telescope, the ranging rod at A is bisected. The ranging rod at A is bisected. So that readings are fixed. After this, now by using your Lower clamp screw. We have to fix both upper as well as lower clamp screw. After bisecting and ranging rod at A, then we have to calculate a first set of reading from angle A to B. To calculate angle A O B set one reading, we have to lose your upper clamp screw. When your upper clamp screw is fixed, it means what? The readings are fixed. So we have to lose upper clamp screw to calculate angle A O B. Upper clamp screw is loosened and we bisect the ranging rod at B, turning the telescope in clockwise direction, bisect the ranging rod at B, it will form first set of readings and it will be the final angle of set 1. Now this angle, suppose angle is 30 degree, this 30 degree should form first reading or initial reading of your set 2. So it means what? We have to fix the angle. To fix the angle, we have to again clamp the upper clamp screw. So upper clamp screw is tight, lower is loose and rotate your telescope in clockwise direction and again bisect the ranging rod at A. In this position, now we can see the reading on vernier is 30 degree only. Again calculate angle AOB by losing your upper clamp screw and tightening the lower clamp screw. Again, we have to rotate telescope in clockwise direction, bisect the ranging rod at B. We will get an angle of 60 degree. Now, in this position, this is the final reading of set 2. Now, the same reading should represent on initial reading of your set 3. So, what we have to do? We have to again clamp your upper clamp screw, lose the lower clamp screw and turn the telescope in clockwise direction and bisect the ranging rod at A. This position will see that the angle is 60 degree. Now we have to go for third set of reading. For third set of reading, again tight your lower clamp screw and lose the upper clamp screw. And turning the telescope in clockwise direction, bisect the ranging rod at B. This will form the third set of reading. Take the angle, suppose angle is 90 degree. Now we are done with calculating of angle. So we have to do three repetitions in a single phase. So we are calculating reading in a uh, left phase. Now we have to calculate reading in right phase. And we have to continue the same procedure to calculate the reading in right phase also. After this, now 
as we can see we have a total angle of 90 degree now this 90 degree is calculated by adding angle three times so actual angle aob is equal to what accumulated angle upon your number of readings so we have taken three readings on each side so in left face as we can see accumulated angle is 90 by 3 will give us angle equal to 30 degree the face of the instrument is then changed and previous procedure is followed again the mean of two observation for example from right face also we get angle equal to 32 degree and from left we are get the angle equal to 30 degree so mean of these two angles will give us actual angle of angle ao b so likewise we can eliminate the errors by using this repetition method now next method of calculating horizontal angle is what Retration method. Retration method. In retration method, what we have to do? It is suitable when several angles are measured from a single station. If we have to measure several angles, for example, we have to measure angle AOB as well as angle BOC as well as angle COB from a single station O, then this method is useful. In this method, all the angles are measured successively, continuously. And finally, the horizontal is closed. The horizon is closed. That is, the angle between the last and the first station is measured. So, the final reading of the leading vernier is equally distributed among all the observed angles. If it is large, the reading should be cancelled and new set is taken. So, the angle is equally divided into each angle. Suppose in the required to measure angle AOB, angle BOC from O. Okay, the procedure follows as C over here, set 1. Theodolite is perfectly centered over O as we know, and the leveling is properly done in usual manner. We have to do all the temporary adjustment. After which, now the vernier is set to 0 and vernier B is set to 180 degree. After setting up next step, the upper clamp is fixed. Now, and lower is loose as we have to set the readings. The ranging rod at A is perfectly bisected. Now, the lower clamp is tight. After bisecting the ranging rod at A, we have to tighten the lower clamp also. The upper clamp is looser and the ranging rod at or the object at B is bisected to get angle AOB. Always, we have to turn the telescope in clockwise direction. So, by turning in clockwise direction, we have calculated angle AOB. B and taking the reading of both the vernier, vernier A and vernier B, the angle is noted. So, first set of reading we have got. Next, similarly, we have to bisect the ranging rod at C by turning the telescope in clockwise direction by keeping lower clamp tight and upper clamp loose. So, we get the angle BOC and note the vernier of both the A as well as B. Now, this horizon is closed. Again, we have to bisect the ranging rod at A by calculating angle COA. The position of the leading vernier is noted. The vernier scale is noted. The leading vernier should show the initial reading on which it was set. For example, vernier A should show 0 degree and vernier B should show 180 degree because we have closed the horizon. If it does not, the amount of disparency is noted, the amount of difference is noted. If it is small, the area is distributed among the angles. For example, suppose it is 0 degree 30 minutes. So, it can be distributed in both the angles 15, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Likewise, over here, if it is like 180 degree 15, then we have to divide this minutes equally in both the angles. But if the difference is very large, then we have to again take the observations. We will go for set 2. Now, in set 2, the phase of the instrument is changed. From left face, we have changed to right face. Now, how to change the face? You have to simply turn your telescope in 180 degree. This process is known as transiting. So, by transiting, you can change the face and then we have to swing the telescope. So, again, the vernier is set in your right side position. The upper clamp is fixed again, lower is loosened again. 
then bisecting the vernier a at 0 and vernier p at 180 degree we have to bisect the ranging rod at a after this we have to lose the upper clamp screw so that we can take the angle aob after knowing angle aob we have to calculate angle boc by turning the telescope in clockwise direction only by calculating aob and boc now we have to close the horizon by knowing angle c o and a after the closure the reading on vernier should be same as it is set in initial setup that is 0 at a and 180 at b if the error is too small then we can distribute the error equally in each angle but if the error is too large then we have to again take the readings so by knowing left as well as right space we have to lastly take the mean of two sets to give the actual value of angle if some error is found after arithmetic check also it should be equally distributed among the angles so likewise we can calculate horizontal angle by two methods now next is how to calculate vertical angle measurement of vertical angle by using your theodolite a vertical angle is an angle between the inclined line of sight and the horizontal so it is nothing but angle between inclined line of sight and your horizontal theta that is known as horizontal sight and your line of sight and this vertical angle is theta the vertical angle is the angle between horizontal axis and line of culmination so to calculate vertical angle the process to measure the vertical angle of an object a at station o set up the theodolite at station o we know how to set up it by using all the temporary adjustment after setting up now next is set zero of vernier exactly to the zero of vernier scale and clamp screw the vernier scale of your vertical circle should set to zero zero if we see the vertical circle it has two vernier vernier c and vernier d in which the circle is divided into quadrantal bearing it means zero to 90 degree and zero to 90 degree quadrant 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, we will get minimum of 0 degree and maximum 90 degree. So, we have to set C and D vernier at 0, 0 or 90, 90 degrees. Now, next, after this, bring the bubble tube of the altitude level in the central position by using leaf screw. The line of sight is thus made horizontal and the vernier still rates 0. Now by keeping the vernier to read 0, we have to adjust our bubble tube. The bubble tube set over your vertical circle and it should reach the center of its run. Now next step, lose the vertical circle clamp screw and direct the telescope towards your point A. For example, we have to calculate the angle AOB. So, by losing your clamp screw of vertical, you have to bisect the ranging rod or the point A object at A. And after exactly bisecting it, we have to again tighten the vertical circle tangent screw. Now, this by after this, we have to calculate the angle by using vernier C as well as vernier D. And we have to take the mean angle of vernier C and vernier D as angle AOB. This has been done in phase left only. Now, we have to follow the same procedure and calculate the same angle in phase right also. So, after this, we have to turn the telescope in 180 degree and change its phase from left to right. In phase right, again, we have to bisect the ranging rod or the point A and calculate angle on vernier C as well as vernier D. The reading will give us a mean reading in face right after knowing mean reading of face left and face right now we can calculate the actual angle aob by taking the average of these two set of readings so by knowing these two set of readings we are eliminating the instrumental errors thank you